Ruby La Rose and welcome back to the Libra Couples tarot card reading for the month of June. Just finished up the singles one and they were all about transformation and endings. So let's see what's going on for our couples, our Libra couples. So Libra couples, this is anyone in an established uh, partnership, anyone dating exclusively, anyone um who's looking to what would our part what would this partnership look like if we were dating exclusively um cross watchers what your libra is thinking and going through and for just anyone married or otherwise so libra couples libra partners let's see what all you have going on let's get your general energy Ooh, ooh. nine of water okay I like kind of chilling. You're in a good space. You are um, enjoying each other's company. You feel like your cup is full. It's feeling very loving and romantic right now. Not a lot of hardship. Element of water. Yeah, it's feeling good. <laughs> it's feeling good. It's feeling supportive. Great energy. Make sure all my cards are here and you can see them. Perfect. Okay, let's get your first one out. Two of Swords. Everyone has gotten the Two of Swords. Everybody is making a decision. Made in a fire, though, which is the Knight of Fire. Hmm. And the Moon card. Ooh, that's how to work through this energy. Um, hmm. Let's get a clarifier for that two of swords. We have a clarifier made in a fire, which is indicating that passion is growing and it's bringing forth you kind of contemplating where to go with this. Let's get a clarifier for that two of swords. I think you're in such a wonderful, happy space together. You're kind of looking at like, what are the next steps? Five of air, five of air, you're, um, or five of swords. You are needing to break out of that humdrum. I am a little concerned that you might be trying to pull back into some old relationship patterns, some old ways of doing things. I think you might be a little concerned that uh, things are not all that they seem. I read the moon card as shadow work, but traditional um, understanding of the moon is getting in touch with your um, base instincts, getting in touch with your subconscious, unconscious desires, um, and also exploring maybe some of those hidden parts of yourself or that you're a little concerned about some hidden parts of your partner. I think doing going within, so the do, 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 that two of swords is indicating that you do need to kind of take a step back and to evaluate what it is that you're really desiring. And that made in a fire is like a, there might be some things in your relationship you want to explore. There might be some things that you maybe haven't done before. Maybe you've closed off a little bit of yourself and that part of you that those desires that you have are wanting to come out. You're feeling very safe and stable and secure in the relationship. So you're wanting to branch out a little bit. Uh, King of Swords, good communication. Y'all are going to have a nice talk about this. Uh, three of Fire, you're going to Venus card. Yeah, there's some... The nicest way I can think to say is this. There's some freaky deaky stuff going on here. You're feeling very just like you want to have a good time. You want to explore some of those deeper desires. You want to explore maybe some of those things that you've never done with anyone else, you know, and you need to have that conversation about it. You're also feeling very attached to this person, very in love with this person, um, very insecure in yourself. And how to work with this energy is the seven of swords coming together, making a plan, being a little bit logical about things, not getting swept up in the moment, but also meditating and thinking very clearly about things. Don't just rush into a conversation. Don't just be like, oh, I saw this on TV and I want to try it. Ah, 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 ah. Think it through. Take your time. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Y'all are going to be trying out some new things. 
You're going to be feeling excited. It will be new to a fire. It will be something that's going to bring you down a different path than what you have been through before. Three of Pentacles. Uh, you may be needing to seek some mentorship. Like I said, take some time, do some research on whatever this, this is that you're interested in. Um, Knight of Chalices, as I've talked about before, can be a little bit of an immature energy of rushing in, um, just expressing expressing feelings about necessarily letting them uh, grow you're just kind of in the moment and and blurting stuff out but also or seeking connection but also it can be uh living in a fantasy you know not necessarily being in reality and it's driven by this desire to explore this new chapter this new um, area of interest and you know maybe even learning some things from other people like you've been inspired and you want to put it into practice let's see what we get the higher fent again mentorship seeking a teacher seeking someone who can help you and guide you along this path so maybe there's folks who have expanded the relationship I don't see anything about like opening up about like polyamory or anything like that but just if there's something new and something different that you want to try or, or a different way of connecting in your relationship, you know, seeking someone else who has a similar dynamic or who's done similar things. Samhain, uh, this is the second moon card that's come up. This is really about like going within and like an ideal relationship with you, to you, for you all that is aware of and in touch with those inner deeper desires i think you're really going to need to spend a lot of time which is why you got that nine of water and why you got that two of swords going within and being honest with yourself and each other about what it is that you really want what it is that makes an ideal relationship and as you do that exploration as you get more clarity on the subject you're going to be seeking out people who can help you to understand that and can help you to build your goals around that your um the way to work through this is to take that new cup a new way of loving a new way of being there for each other a new way of cherishing each other a new way of worshiping each other that presents itself once you get to that honesty this card is beautiful i'm looking at the Win card and it is just let me see yes it is just absolutely gorgeous she's actually doing a tarot card oh look there's like death on the on the in the sky by the moon oh this is just absolutely beautiful but really truly like tapping in and getting that deeper knowledge of what it is that you want of those desires and then seeking assistance and being able to put those into action for once this is going to bring additional stability to your relationship it's going to be additional stability to your home it's going to set you all up for a, a foundation that is so secure but also that makes that that is not boring <laughs> it is a celebration of your security of your relationship maiden of air um this is the not page of air night of air uh quick communication it's going to deepen your communication it's going to deepen um your ability to talk to each other to connect with each other this is so good um and then six of pentacles i think it's also going to help you all to um overcome or to avoid any feelings of being left out in the cold i think in prior relationships you've probably had situations where this need was not being fulfilled and you settled you went without uh you or your partner went without having this need having this desire be met and whether it was something that was very conventional or whether it's something that's unconventional i'm not necessarily seeing anything that's like real freaky deaky like um BDSM or anything like that but it, it does seem that there's something that you've always wanted in your connection in your partnership in your relationship that you haven't had before and because you have such stability and security here in this partnership it's giving you the ability it's giving you the the push to go further to actually want that thing and feel like you can get it and to actually see that play out in your partner being supportive of and maybe having similar interests you're both kind of on this path together um and as you move away from 
uh, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you can't get your needs met and actually seeing that happen, it it's just going to lead you towards this really loving, beautiful space. Let's get your outcome card for the month. This is great. This is great for you, Libras. I'm here for it. Um, we got the crone of earth, which is the king of earth. Like I said, stability, security, um, and the goddess, which is the three, which is the empress. I will always say, because there's two earth, one based on fertility, very much so. If you don't want to get pregnant, use protection. If you do want to get pregnant, and maybe that is what it, what all you have been looking at, that expansion, that, that, you know, seeking assistance. It's children. This could be a great time to really look at bringing that into your partnership, bringing that into relationship. Um, but either way, this situation is leading you towards a path where you all are going to um, be very fruitful. It's going to bring you more security. It's going to bring you more stability and security money wise. It's going like like uh, you may not have seen the connection between not tapping into your deepest relationship and sexual desires and being able to manifest and have a fruitful, successful career and money life. But these things are connected for you all at this time. And as you release the energy of one and tap into that and let that grow and flourish, you're also releasing the energy of the other. And that's bringing you more life, bringing you more love, bringing you more money. And that's tied into that four of wands stability card of fun, festivity, friendship, family. You know, all of those things are kind of tying in together. And you see at the very end of your reading that as you open up emotionally, and um, physically to what it is that you desire, you're going to find that it's actually opening you up and stabilizing your material and financial world, which is a fascinating ending to your reading. So there you go. Yay for the Libra couples. If you have any questions, concerns, if you would like to get a personal reading to find out more, hit me up and let me know. My link is in my description so you can book with me and I'll see y'all for your next reading. Bye y'all.